a Florida jury that has decided the fate of a white man who shot and killed an unarmed black man during an argument that started over a parking space. NBC's Morgan Chesky has the reaction to the guilty verdict. Morgan, good morning. Yeah, Peter, good morning, and this was a decision that definitely did not come easy. The jury deliberated well into the night before finding Michael Drake guilty, reigniting a national debate over stand-your-ground laws. And we do want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see is disturbing. The defendant is guilty of manslaughter as charged. This morning, Michael Draca is in custody after a jury convicted him of manslaughter late Friday in the death of Marquise McLaughlin. We're thankful that the jury got it right. We're thankful that the jury saw what we saw, saw what everybody saw in that video. The video of the fatal parking lot confrontation, the key piece of evidence in the three-day trial. I submit to you, he's a parking lot vigilante. So Jurors saw this taped interview with detectives, where Drake had described the moment he drew his gun after being pushed to the ground by McLaughlin. The argument stemming over the misuse of a handicapped parking spot. He made his step towards me, and that was that. McLaughlin's girlfriend sharing from the stand how Drake had began harassing her as she waited with her children inside a parked car. I didn't know who this strange, suspicious man was. He was yelling and pointing and telling me where I should park. It was when McLaughlin came out that the incident escalated. Initially, Draco was not arrested because of Florida's Stand Your Ground law, which allows a person to use deadly force against a threat with no requirement to retreat. He did what he thought he had to do in the moment, in split-second timing, given that he was attacked. After more than six hours of deliberations, the jury found Drake guilty. Although we know that there are some appeal issues, um, we'll deal with that on the back end. But for right now, the jurors of Pinellas County have spoken, and we respect their decision. For the family of Marquise McLaughlin, the decision brought about much-needed closure. Say my family can't rest now. Now we can start putting the pieces back together and move on. And Morgan, are there any next steps for Draca and his legal team before he is sentenced here? Yeah, Peter, we did hear from Draca's legal team after the verdict last night. They say they do plan to appeal. Meanwhile, his sentencing is set for October, and Draca does face a maximum of up to 30 years in prison. Peter? Morgan Chesky in Florida for us. Morgan, thanks. And there is new information.